It's all changed at the top of the French government. The country's new prime minister has just been named as Jean Castex. He was responsible for coordinating France's reopening strategy after its coronavirus lockdown. Earlier, the previous prime minister, Edouard Philippe, handed in his government's resignation to President Emmanuel Macron. Philippe's decision to stand down has paved the way for a reshuffle, which had been widely expected. President Macron had promised to chart a new course for the last two years of his term that will focus on efforts to relaunch the French economy. Now let's go straight to Paris and bring in DW correspondent Lisa Lewis for more on this. Uh, Lisa, who is the new man? What do we know about Jean Castex? Well, he's a 55-year-old senior administration op, uh, official, a public servant who's well known in public servant circles. He's been the mayor of a small town in southern France for a few years. He was also uh, working at the Elysee under Nicolas Sarkozy, the former conservative president. And as you said, he's been part of the team with the now former prime minister, Edouard Philippe, to put in place France's strategy to come out of the lock down here after the coronavirus crisis, after the peak of the coronavirus crisis. He's known to be hardworking and very efficient, very well known in circles of public servants, but quite unknown to the French public. OK, a bit of a technocrat, it seems. Does his appointment uh, as prime minister mark the beginning of a change of policy then in France? Well, it does mark the beginning of a change of strategy by Emmanuel Macron. He used to have this widely popular Prime Minister Edouard Philippe, Philippe who is uh, seen in a positive way by more than half of the French. Now he's got someone who basically no one knows. So he's not, uh, Jean Castex is unlikely to take up part of the limelight. And Emmanuel Macron wants to reinvent himself indeed in the coming two years ahead of the 2022 presidential elections. That is unlikely to happen through the prime minister. It's more likely that Emmanuel Macron will take up more space. He said that he would invest lots of money into the economy to get it back on track. Also invest money to help young people find new jobs after mm, the COVID-19 crisis and also help elderly people, you know, who are dependent and do a reform in that area. Uh, but he also said in uh, an interview with regional newspapers this morning that he wouldn't change completely course, actually. He wants to stick to his major reforms, such as the pension reform, the very controversial pension reform, against which French had been demonstrating for months before the COVID lockdown happened. And it looks like Emmanuel Macron wants to give a fresh impetus to his time in power, to give him a chance to get re-elected in 2022, but without changing course completely. Uh, Edouard Philippe wasn't the only one to step down. The whole government uh, resigned. Why was that necessary? Well, that's not completely extraordinary. It also happened under Emmanuel Macron's predecessor, the socialist François Hollande. It's, it is a sign, again, that Emmanuel Macron is trying to reinvent himself, his presidency, his image, to show to the French that he will now do something new and that they should trust him again so that he has a chance of winning the presidential election again in 2022. Lisa Lewis in Paris, thank you.